Snap back, placement down. Kick is blocked. It's blocked and it's taken right out of the air. Racing down the near side is Cam Shallis with blockers. He's to the 40, to the Jefferson 30 and 20. He's to the 10 and Shallis is going to return it all the way. The wow. block field goal is a Martinsburg touchdown. Martinsburg senior linebacker Cam Shallis says it was a dream from a young age to play football at West Virginia University and all he had to do was just get it done on the field in high school in order to make that happen. I mean, it's awesome. This is the stuff you dream about. I mean, playing college football, it's always been a dream of mine ever since ever since I started playing football. I, uh, I wanted uh, I wanted my play on the field and my academics to, to make to pave a way for me to go do something great in the future, not just with football, but in life in general. Um, and I feel like West Virginia is going to give me the best step to do that. Chalice, who boasts a 4.61 GPA, signed to West Virginia as a preferred walk-on and knew he could use his academics to his advantage in search of playing football at the next level. Anything I can do to help help my parents out when, when making the decision is great. Um, I'm very thankful that a lot of my hard work has paid off in the classroom. Um, it's been it's been a lot of hard work and it's been a long ride, but uh, but um, pairing up with the classroom and the field, it's it's worked out pretty well for me. He will join another former Martinsburg star in Hudson Clement, who went as a PWO last year. And Bulldogs head coach Britt Sherman says it's great to see two former Bulldogs get a shot to play for the Mountaineers at the same time. It's just really good for him to be able to go up and join a former teammate you know there's been years we've had you know a couple of kids on the on the roster at WU but it's not been the case here recently so now having him and Hudson both up there together great kids great players um, you know I think a lot of people especially in this area really really like the Mountaineers and and we'll follow them even more now with a couple of Bulldogs on the team. Even though there was uncertainty with the coaching staff at WVU after the 2022 season, Shallis says his relationship with head coach Neil Brown as well as linebackers coach Jeff Koontz was a key reason he stuck with the Mountaineers. I'm a huge people person, and uh, ever since I got up there, Coach Brown and the linebackers coach, Coach Koontz, he's, they've both been great to me. I mean, all, all the people up there have been great to me, but those two those two in particular, I mean, Coach Coach, uh, coach Brown has been my, my main source of contact throughout this whole this whole. Uh, this whole recruiting process, and he always he's always been great. I'm, I'm very thankful uh, that they're that they're still there, and I get to go up there and be coached by them. It's great. It's great to be around great people. One of the biggest keys to Cam getting to this point in his football career is attributed to his father, Kip, who not only coached him in his youth leagues, but has also been a Bulldogs assistant. His role's been huge. I mean, he's the one that he's the one that got me started in football. He's the one that. Uh, that sparked the interest, and, and um, ever since ever since I've, I I can remember, he's been coaching football or basketball, but mainly football. I mean, going down there, he used to coach at Briarwoods High School, and being at Briarwoods and getting to see all these different great athletes that are going to all these great colleges and, and great people in general. Um, just just being inspired by them every day and seeing their work ethic, it's it's really inspired me to do the best I can. And then just him giving me, tell, showing me the way, telling me what needs to be done, and giving me the blueprint. I'm a big blueprint guy. I like I like. I like goals and I like standards that I got to stand by, and um, and he set those for me, and I, I've I've done my best to achieve them, and and that's that's how we got here today. So his his role's been huge, and I'm so thankful for it. Kip says this is a special moment for the Shallis family because going to WVU is a family legacy, and Cam grew up around the Mountaineers. Special man. Um, uh, my my parents uh, are West Virginia University graduates. Um, my wife and I are West Virginia University graduates. My two older sisters are West Virginia University graduates, so we know all about Morgantown. It's a special place. Cam's, Cam's been brought up as a young mountaineer. I've been there a lot of times, so to, uh, to be able to have the opportunity to, to put on that uniform and, and run out that tunnel and, and to, to be able to see that is going to be uh, special. The legacy Shallis leaves behind at Martinsburg as a three-year starter and senior captain is something Coach Sherman says seeing as a coach is what it's all about. Uh, you don't have many kids, especially defensive kids, that are that physical. Uh, they can start from sophomore year on. Um, just, you know, captain, uh, off-season, you know, leadership that he brought, and, uh, you know, on and off the field, and just being able to lead by example, is, it was really big for our program while, uh, while he was here. And, like I said, known him since he was a kid and uh, seeing kids grow up, and, and that's what coaching's all about. Shallis attributes a lot of his on-field success in high school to the team's weightlifting program. I always give a shout-out every time I can to Coach Sherman's weightlifting program. I mean, and in my freshman year, I, I just wasn't at where I wanted to be, and then I, I really bought into his to the, to the weight room plan, and um, it totally changed my life. I mean, the, the, the work that he puts in on the weight room and all these different coaches. I mean, I talked at the beginning of the season. We had, we had at least 10 coaches almost every single weightlifting um, weightlifting day and, and just that just that family that's built while working hard I mean 
it's it's undefeated. It really is. With the way Shalas plays and his leadership, you'll see him on the field for the Mountaineers in no time. For WRNR TV 10 Sports, I'm Spencer Dupuy.